The Energy Kodiak just got a whole lot better. Hello and welcome to the overview of the Energy Apex K2 solar generator by Pure Power Solar. Yes, Energy's latest and greatest solar power generator is now among us, as the Energy Apex is now available for pre-sale on their website. If you've ever used an Energy Kodiak before, then you know how powerful and versatile this machine really is. Also, smash that subscribe button and hit that bell notification for more reviews, tips, and tricks. Also, stay till the end for a free gift. The impressive Apex was formerly known as the K2, but for copyright reasons, they changed the name to Apex. To clarify, there is no difference in the generator. It is just the name that was changed. I'm going to tell you the various features, dimensions, power stats, and more to ponder as one of the best performing solar generators on the market today got even better. The Apex generator has the exact same dimensions on the outside as the Energy Kodiak. The 25 pound generator measures out at 14 inches wide by 7 inches tall by 8 inches depth. This is slightly heavier than the previous Kodiak by 5 pounds, mainly due to the newly added MPPT controller. More on that later. As the YouTuber Canadian Prepper put it, it's like the difference between the iPhone 8 and iPhone 9, meaning that there are many similarities between the few years old Kodiak and Apex. However, there are some major improvements in the Apex, which makes it more usable for RV users, boaters, campers, and many others. Besides the generator being the exact same dimensions, it also has the exact same battery in it as the Energy Kodiak at 1.1 kilowatt hours, which is still very impressive, especially for the weight of the generator. Also, the Apex has the same look and very similar inputs and outputs from the previous model. So that being said, what are some of the things that are different in the Apex? A few main differences are a newly installed MPPT controller, an updated display screen, the ability to hook up to external lithium batteries, and the Apex is slightly less expensive than the Kodiak was when it came out. There is an upgraded display screen where the battery capacity and input for solar charging is displayed. Since the Apex hasn't been shipped to anyone yet, it is difficult to get a gauge on the accuracy of the new features of the display. Nevertheless, Energy listened to their customer base and helped solve a big problem which happened when people were charging their generator with solar panels and couldn't figure out the exact amount of watts that were coming into the power bank to charge it. Yes, you can charge the generator from solar panels, your car, and your wall outlet in a pretty fast manner compared to the competition. Solar charging is a major asset to this generator, and it is even more impressive that it will charge in 3 hours with 500 watts of solar panels and good sunlight. This is amazing in the solar generator world, and Energy has really set the bar high with their charging times. They even have a new line of solar panels too that will most likely enhance the efficiency of power to the generator compared to other solar panels. They are called Lynx panels, and you can find more information in the link in the description. As for car charging, the Apex will be able to charge up in about 4.5 hours at 240 watts. Wall charging with 110 watts will take approximately 11 hours. What can you use the generator with and for how long? Here are some examples given by the Energy website on the estimated charge and run times of various appliances and devices. Smartphones can charge for 100 plus hours, tablets will go for 40 plus hours, laptops for 20 plus hours, a queen size electric blanket will run for 14 hours, and a 50 inch LED LCD TV will run for 16 hours straight, a 1000 watt microwave for one hour, a refrigerator for 33 hours, a chest freezer for 50 hours, a sump pump for 2.5 hours, a base camp LED light, which is the light that Energy makes, will run for 183 hours. The battery is the same size as the Energy Kodiak at 1100 watt hours. Also, the battery no longer needs resets as opposed to the Kodiak, where if you had a low battery and tried to use a power tool or appliance with a lot of surge power, it would need to be reset by doing a strange sequence with plugs. Now, the Apex automatically shuts down if you surge the power when there's low battery in order to protect the battery and give it longevity. The battery will last up to 2,000 charge cycles, which, when you do the math, is actually saving you money compared to most other generators out there that do not have as many charge cycles. An impressive new feature in this generator is the ability to hook up external lithium-ion batteries to the Apex. You can also use the standard 12.6 deep cycle lead acid or AGM batteries as well with the connections given on the outside of the generator. Hooking up an external battery to the Apex will let you have more power, obviously, but will also give the Apex the ability to charge and discharge power from the external battery. 
The lithium-ion external batteries will be released by Energy very soon and are also the only lithium-ion batteries allowed for use with the Apex under their warranty, which is a one-year policy. Some new features have also been added to the Energy Apex, including an MPPT controller. This will increase the charge efficiency and decrease charging times from the solar panels, as compared to one without an MPPT controller like the Energy Kodiak. Pros and cons of the Apex generator. The pros include that the Apex is at a cheaper price point compared to the Kodiak. The new MPPT controller gives the Apex improved efficiency. The massive power output is significantly high at 1100 watt hours and surge power is at 3000 watts. It has the most power per pound compared to other portable solar generators and it has a lithium ion external battery connection. The cons include that it is 5 pounds heavier than the Kodiak at 25 pounds compared to 20, and that the Apex uses EC8 plugs instead of an MC4 adapter to connect the solar panels to the Apex. These are not waterproof or UV resistant. Energy made this move because people were burning out their Kodiak generators with too many solar panels attached to the generator. Now these plugs are used to prevent that from happening. The kits for the Apex generator come with solar panels as well as Energy's signature lights to light up your campsite, RV, or tailgate. There are six packages available that go by bronze, silver, and gold packages. The first set of three have Energy's new Lynx solar panels included with the generator. The second set includes the Apex, just like the first package, but have the previous model Solar Storm solar panels in the package instead and are also at a lower price. The Lynx solar panels are 100 watts each and are semi-flexible as well. They flex up to 30% and are also on pre-sale. What are the benefits of having a Lynx panel as opposed to a solar storm panel? There are two main differences. The first is that the Lynx panel is made of monocrystalline, which is made with a higher grade of silicone, thereby improving the efficiency of the solar panel. Polycrystalline, on the other hand, which is what the solar storm panels are made of, is made with lower grade silicone and reduces the efficiency of the solar panel by a small percentage. In addition, the Lynx panels are half of the weight of the solar storm panels. From 16.2 pounds to an 8 pound panel is a feat within itself for energy and can help you transport your solar panels without working up a sweat, especially if you have a series of them. When comparing the Apex to the Goal Zero Yeti 1400 lithium, you'll find that the Goal Zero generator is much heavier at 43.7 pounds more expensive at $1,799. The charge times are longer for the Yeti at four and a half hours for the maximum solar panel wattage allowed, which is 360 watts. It takes 14 to 28 hours with the Boulder 200 watt solar panel to charge up and 25 hours to charge from the wall charger. The wattage input from the external solar panels are greater with the Energy Apex where you receive 500 watts with the Apex and 360 watts for the Goal Zero 1400. The Goal Zero does have a much better screen, however, showing needed information. And the Goal Zero is Wi-Fi enabled, where you simply connect a Yeti through your Wi-Fi router and control it remotely using the new Goal Zero Yeti app. But overall, the Apex Solar Power Generator is an exciting and versatile generator to have and has lived to tell the tale since releasing the Energy Kodiak. The Energy Apex is on its way to becoming a more versatile tool for RV users, campers, boating, and many other areas where portable power is needed. Being as powerful as its predecessor, the Kodiak, the Apex brings many features that only make it more appealing and user-friendly. Discover the Energy Apex in the link provided below, and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, throw me a like, and if you have any thoughts to share, leave me a comment. Before you go, if you're looking for the ideal camping equipment to have with you on your next adventure, get your free PDF I put together below, showing you the top 30 items to have with you.